This video is sponsored by Shortform, but more on them later. Okay, so I consume a lot of information on a day-to-day -day basis. I am completely obsessed with teaching myself all sorts of different skills and subjects, so I'm constantly learning new things on top of all the information I consume in my day-to-day -day life. From books, to podcasts, to newsletters, to articles, to tweets, to courses, to audiobooks, and I'm out of breath. So for the longest time, I really struggled to manage all this information and actually remember what I was learning. Like I would read a life-changing article, think, wow, that was extremely useful and could really help me improve my life. Only for me to forget it literally two seconds after reading it. This was pretty much my life for years where I was stuck in a learn something and then immediately forget it after cycle. And I just couldn't seem to get out of it. But then about half a year ago, a tool you may have heard of called ChatGPT was released and I started using it to help me learn things and it completely changed my life. On top of using the AI to help me organize and study my schedules and teach me stuff, I've also been experimenting with a ton of different prompts that will help me better understand and retain the information that I am consuming. And let me tell you, this tool has come absolutely in clutch for actually helping me memorize the stuff I want to learn. So yeah, today I want to share some of the ChatGPT prompts that I've discovered and have been using to help me actually memorize the stuff I'm learning and want to retain. I'll be starting with some of the more common memorization techniques that we can use with ChatGPT before I move on to some of the more unique ones as the video progresses. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video to learn about all the memorization techniques you can utilize with chat GPT. Now let's dive right in. To start, I want to talk about space repetition, which is a popular study technique that involves reviewing information and increasing intervals over time to help it stick in your long-term memory. This method is based off the concept known as the forgetting curve, which shows that we forget things quickly after learning them. However, every time we review the information, our memory gets stronger and forgetting slows down. So when we use the space repetition method, we are basically fighting the forgetting curve and making information stick around longer in our brains. So there are a couple of ways we can go about actually using space repetition with ChatGPT. So the prompt I use is, can you create a study schedule for learning about whatever you want to learn while utilizing the space repetition technique? Please state when I should review the material at increasing intervals over whatever period of time you want to be learning the skill. So I'm just going to say 12 weeks. And then ChatGPT will spit out a study schedule for you utilizing the space repetition method and will tell you on what days you need to review specific topics. Another way that I found to use this technique with ChatGPT that may be helpful to all you prisoners, <clears throat> I mean students out there, is a prompt like this. I'm currently taking a whatever class on whatever topic and have a test in how many weeks. Could you please quiz me on the subject? Or you can just paste in your learning objectives and then based off of the answers I got right and wrong, use the space repetition method to tell me when I should review the material to prepare for my test. And then boom bada bing, ChatGPT gives you a learning plan using space repetition over the timeline that you gave it to ensure that you are prepared for and will ace your test. So yeah, that is one memorization technique. Now the next one that I want to talk about is the reverse of what I have talked about in my other ChatGPT learning video. That is the find man technique. And thank you to everybody who pointed out that I was pronouncing it completely wrong. So basically the find man technique is a method for learning or reviewing a concept by teaching it in simple terms. So in my other learning video with ChatGPT, I mentioned the find man technique from the perspective where ChatGPT is a teacher and you are the student. But today I want to focus on the opposite where you are the teacher and ChatGPT is the student, or in this case, a five-year-old. So the prompt I use to utilize the find man technique is this. You are a five-year-old who loves to ask questions and state when you are confused. I'm explaining a topic to you and I'm trying to utilize the find man technique to explain the topic I'm learning to you in a simplified way. Please act as a five-year-old and ask me questions and wait for me to respond. Also, please state if I explain something wrong and correct me. 
the topic is, and then you can just state whatever topic you want to explain. Once you send that out, ChatGPT will act as a five-year-old and ask you all sorts of questions about your topic to gauge your understanding. At any point during your conversation, you can stop and say, I don't know how to respond to this, what would you say? And then ChatGPT will respond with the correct answer to deepen your knowledge and fill in missing gaps. Another way you can memorize things quickly, especially with books and articles, is with Shortform, the sponsor of today's video. Shortform is an app that allows you to dive into thousands of nonfiction books with their one page and detailed summaries, making it super easy for you to learn the main ideas at a deep level while skipping the fluff and saving loads of time. I've been using Shortform a ton recently to read nonfiction books on learning, like ultra learning, for example, before I dive into a new subject I want to learn since I want to make sure I'm taking the necessary steps to set myself up for success in my study. Studies. Shortform even offers these interactive exercises to help you apply the ideas you learn in what you're reading, which has been insanely helpful in my case as I tend to easily forget what I read immediately after putting the book down. Shortform also recently released their new AI browser extension, which allows you to instantly generate high quality summaries for blogs, emails, and even YouTube videos at a click of a button. This has been amazing for me because I have recently gotten into reading a lot of philosophy blogs on medium which tend to be very very long so before i actually dedicate the time to read the entire blog post i will just do a quick summary and if i like the sound of it I will go ahead and decide to read it. Access to the extension is also free so you can use it, but keep in mind that it will come with limited accessibility. Full capabilities are available with a premium short-form subscription, which you can get by using my special link in the description. By using the URL shortform.com slash does things, you will get a 25% discount to short-form, which includes unlimited access to short-form AI. Or you can scan the QR code or just click the link in the description. Thank you short-form for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. All right, the next technique is rephrasing, which is designed to challenge your comprehension and reinforce your memory. So after reading something or learning something new, you could go to ChatGPT and say, here's my knowledge of whatever topic in my own words. Could you analyze and suggest improvements and point out the gaps in my knowledge? Then you will just write out everything you know about the topic and send it out. Immediately, ChatGPT will respond with where you went wrong, what you can do better, and what what you're missing so you can focus on those areas in the future and use the memorization techniques I'm going to mention next to remember it. Okay, so this method I call the ChatGPT fictional character and I really, really like it simply because it is extremely entertaining. So basically, this method involves picking a character to assign to ChatGPT that suits a topic and then getting ChatGPT to teach you about that topic as the character. This technique is really great because it taps into emotional and imaginative modes of learning, which can make learning feel less like traditional studying and more like a fun story-driven journey, which can tremendously help in remembering a topic. So the prompt that I use is, today you are whichever character you want, I'm going to say Socrates, and we're diving into the meaning of death or whatever topic you want. How would whatever character you assign explain or ponder this? Then of course, ChatGPT will respond explaining the topic in the voice of the character that you chose. All right, next up is a technique I call elaborative interrogation, which involves understanding the why behind facts. For example, if you're trying to remember that Paris is the capital of France, you can go to ChatGPT and say, I know that Paris is the capital of France, but why is it that way? Can you please guide me deeper? And then ChatGPT will respond with the why behind the fact, allowing you to dig deeper and making it way more likely for you to memorize what you want to learn. Okay, up next is a technique called narrative creation, which involves asking ChatGPT to turn information into a short story. The more absurd or humorous it is, the more likely you are to actually remember it. So for example, if you're trying to remember the terms related to cellular biology, you can ask ChatGPT to create a story where the cells are having a party and each organelle plays a different role in the party setup. Alternatively, if you don't have a premise for a story, you can simply ask ChatGPT to create a short, memorable, or humorous story on whatever topic you want to learn and let ChatGPT's imagination go wild. Okay, last but not least, I want to talk about a technique that I have stolen from Sherlock Holmes, and that technique is called the Memory Palace. This is a mnemonic device where you associate pieces of information with specific locations in a familiar 
familiar setting. So for the prompt, we can say, let's create a memory palace for whatever topic. I'll start with and name a place. I use this method with the topic of ancient civilizations and used a coffee shop that I frequent as location and got guided through a memory palace where the door was Mesopotamia, the cash register Egypt, and the main sitting area of the Roman Empire, which helped me remember information about each ancient civilization way, way better than if I just reread my textbook over and over again. Anyway, that is basically it for the memory techniques I use with ChatGPT to help me memorize the information I consume in my daily life. I hope you enjoyed the video and got value out of this. If you'd like to support my channel further and ensure I keep making videos like this one, then consider joining my Patreon, where as a patron, you'll get access to weekly study and work with me sessions, behind the scenes of my video making process, and a ton more perks that you can check out by clicking the link in the description. I appreciate all of you sexy people watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.